What's up guys, Gavin Wong here, back with another awesome tutorial. I'm also going to have the results from last week's giveaway video. So for this week's tutorial, I'm doing what I'm calling the world's luckiest card trick. It's a super easy self-working trick that's great for beginners. There's no slides involved whatsoever, so you can just completely focus on the presentation and uh, it gets crazy reactions. There's a prediction right off the bat, so people are already intrigued. It's not your boring, you know, pick a card trick. The spectator's intrigued and involved right from the get-go. I think you guys are really going to enjoy this. Without further ado, guys, let's take a look at the performance video, then we'll jump right into the tutorial, and then at the end of the video, I'll give away the giveaway results. Let's go. This is the world's luckiest card trick. I'm going to make a prediction, all right? So all right. I'm going to make a secret prediction, and I'm going to leave it face down for this whole entire trick. All right, so this is going to be my prediction, and I'll leave this over here. All right? Now, all right. What I'm going to do is I'm going to start dealing the cards face up one at a time, just like this. And you can see they're all different. And then whenever you want, tell me when you want me to stop. Stop. Right there. All right. So we got two right. piles. We have yeah. pile number one, and then we have pile number two. Which pile do you want me to use, number one or number two? Number one. Awesome. So pile number one. The top card is a seven, so it's going to tell me I have to deal down seven cards from pile number two. All right, so let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, and we'll use the seventh card. All right? So look, you told me when to stop dealing, right? You told me to use pile number one. We've dealt down seven cards, and now that seventh card was another seven. This remaining card on this pile number two, that's a third seven. Do you remember my prediction from the beginning? That's the fourth seven. <laughs> Alright guys, welcome to the tutorial for the world's luckiest card trick. As a tradition, I'm going to be using one of the green decks from off the wall for this tutorial. Today, I'm going to be using the Bicycle Matcha playing cards. Really bright, vibrant colors in this Bicycle deck. Uh, honestly, this is one of my favorites that I've opened recently. And uh, apparently there's only, you know, 2,500 of these decks that were, that were printed, so... Uh, I really like these. The color on these is sick. Uh, bicycle Matcha deck. Uh, let's see. You get this little uh, 1 out of 2,500 card. And then here are the two jokers. You have one colored and one white, black and white kind of looking joker. So these are the Bicycle Matcha cards. Very aesthetically pleasing. Just I love the way these look. I love the dark and light shade of green on these. Um, Check this out. Look at the spread. If you create this nice little fan, look at the spread. The distinction of the light and dark greens. They're sick. Don't sleep on these guys. These are one of my favorite looking green decks right now. Um, anyways, guys, back to the tutorial. Let's go. So there is going to be a setup for this trick. So the setup for this looks like this. So first you want to take two of the sevens and place them uh, seventh and eighth from the bottom. So you can take six random cards here and just throw those on top. And then you have the two sevens, seventh and eighth from the bottom. All right, so that's part, part of the setup. And the other part is you're going to have another one seven just randomly in the middle. And then the last seven is going to be right on top of the deck. All right. So seven, seventh and eighth from the bottom, this pair here. doesn't matter where the other seven is, somewhere in the middle. And then on top, the very top, you have a seven as well. And you can get into this just, you know, by cutting. You can tell the spectator you want to make sure that all the cards are here. It's a full deck as you're cutting and moving these cards into position. And then after that, depending on your skill level, if you want, you can do, you know, a shuffle as long as you're maintaining the bottom eight cards and the one card on top. So you can do, you know, a, a bridge shuffle as long as you're riffle shuffling the, you know, eight cards here or just do these as a stack and then actually do a shuffle and then again maintain that top card here on the right side, that seven. All right, so if you want to do that to give the illusion that the cards are shuffled and mixed, you can see that we still have our stack there at the bottom and at the top, we're good. And then when the trick starts, you're going to take the cards and flip them over towards yourself and you tell the spectator that you're going to take out a prediction card. All right, so obviously you would have the cards towards yourself and not open like this so that everybody can see, but you're going to go through, you're going to find the seven in the middle, you put that face down, put that aside and say, this is going to be my prediction card for later. All right. And then after that, now you're going to, you can either shuffle again if you want, do a false cut, whatever you guys want. Up to you whether you want to do those false cuts and shuffles after that or not. Completely up to you guys. 
but the next step here is you're going to turn the deck face up and then you're going to start dealing the cards face up one at a time just like this and you explain to the spectator that you're going to deal the cards slowly face up and they're going to tell you to stop wherever they want all right and so you want to make sure when you're explaining this process that you deal past the two sevens that we had set up seventh and eighth from the bottom so you either want to do this by dealing kind of fast in the beginning or you can talk and you know draw out the the instructions but whatever you do make sure you get past these two sevens before you finish giving out those instructions and then after that the spectator can tell you to stop wherever they want so let's just say the spectator tells you to stop right there all right so then after that you're gonna take this power that you've been dealing down and you're gonna flip this over face down this is gonna be power number two and the cards in your hand that you've been dealing down this is gonna be power number one all right so you put those side by side and then you're gonna ask the spectator which power they want to use power number one or power number two all right so, and it doesn't matter which Pile they actually choose you're, you're giving them the illusion that they had free choice right so they had the free choice of telling you where to stop dealing you're giving them the illusion that they have free choice of telling you which power to use but in actuality it really doesn't matter so if they want to use power number two then you're just going to pick up power number two in your hand and say great so we'll deal down cards from this pile right and if they say they want to use power number one it's going to be the same outcome regardless so if they say power number one then you just right away flip over power number, the top card on power number one and say okay so we're using power number one and power number one is telling us that we need to deal down seven cards from power number two all right so that's what happens if they pick power number one right and then if they pick power number two then you just pick that up in your hand and say okay so we'll deal down cards from power number two and power number one is going to tell us how many cards to deal down and you flip that over and show that that setup that we had set up before all right so it doesn't matter which power they pick the outcome is going to be the same. We're always going to deal down seven cards based on what power number one tells us. And those cards are going to come from power number two. All right, so we'll use the seventh card. So we'll deal down six cards. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then we'll use the seventh card. All right, and then we'll put that over here to the right of this, this third slot here. The rest of the cards here in my hand, this is going to be where that one of the other sevens are. All right, so what we've done is we have a seven here. This is the eighth card that we had set up from the bottom and then the other seven that we put down was here right so you take the cards in your left hand and just drop this back onto the power that we we're dealing down power number two all right and everything at this point is just all set up and done so here we have a seven here we have a seven here we have a seven and our prediction that we pulled out from the beginning that was the other seven right so from here it's just all presentation right so then at this point i like to just put everything together and just grab all these cards and just line them up and say all right so i had a prediction in the beginning right and then i dealt down cards and then you told me to stop wherever you wanted and then you picked which pile we want to deal cards from which in actuality is not true and the first pile told us to deal on seven cards so we've got to the seventh card and that's this card here and that is a seven and the card that we ended up stopped we had stopped dealing at that was also a seven and remember my prediction from the beginning from the very beginning of the trick well that one that also happens to be a seven and that is all sevens that's the world's luckiest card trick you must be super incredibly lucky you found all sevens from a random deck of cards all right guys so that is the uh, tutorial for the world's luckiest card trick using the four sevens from a deck super easy no slights involved you can focus on the presentation and uh and yeah, that is the world's luckiest card trick. All right, guys, moving on to the giveaway winners. So basically, I'm using a site called YouTube Random Comment Picker. So all you have to do is you plug in the uh, the URL of the video that you want. I'm selecting no duplicates so that each person gets a fair chance, to, regardless of how many times you guys commented. And then we get a random comment. All right, so I'm going to choose two winners here. So let's take a look at who we want. Get random comment first one boom we have bk magic and mystery he said such a powerful trick very deceptive well done bk magic and mystery that's our first winner awesome and our second winner get random comment justin simmons hopefully i can win here at tiktok sometimes justin simmons you just won guys just won so bk magic and justin simmons you guys contact me for your free decks contact me either via tiktok or Instagram here's the information on the screen I'll also put in you know my information down below in the video description so you guys can reach out to me whichever is convenient for you guys to get your free decks stick around guys stick around for some more giveaways 
So there you have it, guys. That's the tutorial. Those are the giveaway winners. Hope you guys continue to stick around. Make sure you guys like and subscribe if you guys haven't already. I will be doing more giveaways here on my YouTube channel in the near future. So stick around. Look out for future videos. Don't forget to check out my TikTok account for the daily giveaways. And be on the lookout for announcements of when I will do my lives on TikTok because I also give away decks on my lives. Uh, I actually gave away most of my decks uh, in the last couple of weeks away on my live streams. So make sure you guys keep an eye out for those announcements. Thanks for watching, guys, and I hope to see you guys on the next video. Peace.